proving to be another fantastic London Fashion Week. Two of the highlights living up to all expectations have come from Philip Tracy and his hats, and Bella Freud with her chicly frivolous tailoring. The two-hour delay for Philip Tracy's latest millinery masterpieces was well worth the wait, and he certainly made a splash, promenading hats with influences that range from the 50s to the future. For the average person on the street, a hat is something you pull out from your wardrobe for that imminent wedding. In Tracy's hands, a hat is more like a work of art, and he certainly has plenty of fans. I met him on an aeroplane in um, going to LA, and um, we have the same friends, and we sort of met a few times, and so I thought, out of all of them, I always think most of these things are a bit like beep, 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 beep. I'm not really a fashion person. I just thought, Phillips, at least it'll be a good show. And for model Honor Fraser, she was near to tears from the crowd's reaction. And you just want to show people, you know, it's such an amazing thing that's put together in his shows that you just want people to see it. So it's You're great to be shown. You're now as well, aren't you? Yeah, I'm on site. I mean, it's an amazing, I feel very emotional as well because now it's over. I just wanted the catwalk to be like a mile longer so I could just keep going. Philip Tracy proves that hats aren't just woolly and bobbly, but hugely glamorous.